Hi Libra, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to a reading. So let's keep in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate for everyone. Okay, for Libra, please. Please for a message for Libra's love situation, please bear. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. So right now, there could be stagnation between you and another person. But it could also be that while there is the stagnation, someone's still holding on to you, okay? They're holding back, but they're still holding on to you. Maybe they're working on their stability, working on themselves. You could be working your stability, working on yourself. Let's see, for the present situation, we have the Nine of Wands. Someone is guarded here, okay? I feel a chaser energy, but then there's the other person who's who's guarded, who's hurt, tired. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Eight of Pentacles. So someone here wants to put in effort, okay? There's a lot of determination here. Someone's to really come after you, okay? Yeah, chaser energy here, definitely wanting to put in effort, wanting to do everything, to do everything, you know, to get back together with you. But then there's your, you may not be so sure here. Why is the Eight of Pentacles? The Six of Cups. So you're dealing with a soulmate here. Someone feels like you are meant to be. Someone feels like you are their soulmate. They're going to put in the effort. You know, it's like, I get it now. It could be like this runner chaser dynamic with roles half switch. You could have been the chaser. Now you're, the, you know, the runner. This person was the runner. Now they're the chaser. They're definitely thinking about you. They have a lot of nostalgia here. Let's see. For the block of potential, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to give you stability here. They want to give you what they were not able to give you at the time. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why is the Knight of Pentacles? That's Six of Wands. Yeah. It's like they want to win you back, right? They want to prove to you that, you know, they couldn't put in effort. They want to, they see victory now. It's like, you know, maybe they didn't see it in the past. Okay, now they see victory with you, success. They see this connection finally, okay? Why is the Six of Wands here? Six of Wands. The Amber. Because someone has leveled up here. So there's potential for someone to be an Amber. So this is definitely a soul connection. Six of Cups, the Amber. So there's potential for someone to mature, level up here, okay? Someone was not a, a, an Amber at the time. Someone was running away. Someone feared commitment at the time that I'm getting. Someone's not good at commitment, okay? It was very passive, very passive energy, okay? But now they want to put in effort. Now they want to put in time and energy into this connection. And it's like chaser energy here. Let's see for the recent past, the Nine of Swords. So regret, okay? Remorse for not possibly putting in that effort, okay? For not giving to this connection running away from this connection here why is the nine of swords why is the nine of swords here the four of wands yeah so this person is just not seeing this right at the time so you could have been married with this person this person had fear of commitment here okay this person was too much in their heads as well very passive energy here running away from this running away from Commitment, running away from responsibilities, okay? Now they're taking responsibility, okay? Yeah, they're more, they, they, they're in a more responsible, stable, okay? Mature type of energy. Why is the Four of Wands here? The Five of Cups. So there's a lot of regret here for losing this connection. A lot of regret. Nine of Swords, Five of Cups. Someone feels at a loss here without you, without this connection. Let's see for the focus. For the focus. That Justice card. So they want to balance things out. Okay. 
They want to find balance within this connection. They want to make the right thing. They want to make things right. And that's like putting in effort, right? Doing something that they did not do before. <clears throat> this is your car, Libra. So you could be in their focus, right? The person could definitely, with that Six of Cups and your card being in their focus, they're definitely focusing on you, okay? For the Justice card, the Ten of Wands, yeah, your person's definitely... Um, I feel I feel like a sense of waiting here, you know, they, they stagnated too much, okay? Could have waited a long time before actually making things right. So they're at the end here with that Ten of Wands, okay? Yeah, there's a sense of waiting here. This person knows that they were running away from their responsibilities running away from this connection taking too long right to make a decision about this yeah they took too long here why is the ten of wands here that temperance card yeah a lot of patience here right patience required because your person, well, could have been also working on themselves. Their sense of waiting to also work. I mean, this person knew that they had issues that they need to work on themselves for this connection here. So they took, like, they waited till the last second to make a decision here, okay? To work on themselves. To heal with Sagittarius. But, yeah. And then to heal this connection here. So it's in their focus now, okay? Focusing on doing the right thing. They're focusing on, um, but I feel it's like time is running out here. Let's see for the near future. The Knight of Swords, yeah. See how they took too long? This is a card of like now feeling like they missed an opportunity here. Now they have to come in really fast, right? Before someone else gets you. Yeah, they took too long. So now when they're actually going to come towards you, okay, this person could still be stagnating, okay? But they took such a long time. So when your person's going to finally get it, okay, they're going to come in really fast here. So we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but this is definitely a person here. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Ten of Swords. Yeah. You pers like at the end, right? Tens of wands, tens of swords. They've stagnated this. They've waited until they just were in so much pain, drained, right? Being at a distance from you, being lost without you. Because already in the recent past, we see that there is regret and feeling the loss and the sadness here. Okay, for losing this connection. But them just taking their sweet time here. So now once they get it, because there's gonna they're gonna be at, at the end, ten of swords. So that's like starting a new cycle here. Why is the ten of swords here? The Herman. Okay. Yeah. They've they've you know they've gone with them. They've gone with them. And you know. They did some soul searching, trying to find guidance, okay? Healing as well. Person could have been toxic. That's what I'm getting, the temperance card, you know, the hermit. There could have been a level of toxicity. Yeah, so person's just not the emperor at the time. So your person, yeah, and once they get that, you know, enlightenment, then they're going to act as a knight of swords. It's like, I have to, you know, I've wasted so much time. I have to come in fast, like a sense of urgency, right? If, you know, it's like an opportunity that they don't want to lose anymore. Let's see for the, what you should know, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, see how it's like, hello, I get it now. You're my happiness, right? My emotional fulfillment. You're the one that I love. I get it now, okay? They've gone with them to, you know, do that soul searching here because there's a lot of stagnation here. 
and work heal work on themselves okay why is the ten of cups here why is the ten of cups here the three of pentacles so now they were want to work things out with you okay so yeah yeah being at this nine of swords so you know if you've not seen your person like this okay then it will happen okay because it is in the future so now it's like they want everything right they want that ten of cups they want to work things out they want to fix this they want to you know they want to really put in the effort now why is the three of pentacles the three of wands see there's that sense of waiting see waiting for the right time waiting and waiting and waiting okay so but your person did have issues to deal with they'd have healing right waiting because it's like trying to find like guidance doing their soul searching so a lot of patience required here and waiting involved okay to finally just once they wake up it's like i have to come in fast right seize that opportunity here let's see for uh <clears throat> the outcome the higher fence so commitment your person has gained that wisdom as well okay that's the higher fence gaining wisdom about this ten of cups <clears throat> committed with a taurus here i don't know if i said that virgo as well let's see for the higher fence the empress yeah i mean they see us the empress now right they get it they see this connection and they see you they see you as the one here and they want commitment with you this is your card libra could also be taurus but this is definitely you them wanting commitment with you why is the empress here ace of pentacles so so a brand new beginning yeah your person wants to offer you right something solid something long term so they don't want to yeah they want to take that opportunity now right they lost that opportunity in the past right because that was the four of wands they want a new opportunity with you but you know they really want to make things right okay that's making the right thing they see long term with you so i'm gonna give you that pentacle because they want commitment they want stability here so it's up to you if you trust them it's up to, you, up to you okay if you want this so that's it libra so i hope it resonated with you i hope you enjoyed your reading take care bye